Yeah. Brr. I think you have to manage your job. Sit in the food boy. That's you, bro. I'll give you that. I'm Manny Cooks. Aye, gang, 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 gang. <laughs> Guys, Sydney Food Boy here, and today we're back with another YouTube video. We're trying West African food for the first time. We're in Newtown, and we're visiting a restaurant called A Little Lagos. Essentially, we had a video about East African food before. You guys loved it. I loved it too, and I definitely wanted to try more. We even have a special guest on today's video. It's Manu Crooks. He's an artist uh, doing hip hop music and stuff like that in Sydney, Australia. Check out his channel. Check out his music. Amazing stuff. We're gonna eat Nigerian food, baby. Let's go. Nice to meet you, my guy. Good shit, man. Good shit. What up, bro? Nice to meet you, bro. Nice to meet you. Five? Yes. So you came early for this? Yeah, yeah, just give me a little. Is it right now or? Yeah, we just be like, oh, you know, what is that? So what's this? This is jello fries. Jello fries? Yes. It's made with tomato paste, tomato paste, curry, thyme, ginger, garlic, baby. And how long does this simmer for? It stays in there for one hour. One hour? Okay. Yes. Yeah, Some people come in here and they want to try it in the traditional way. Yeah, right. So and that's why we put the hard wash base in there. Yeah. So when you want to eat with your hands, we're yeah. just going to wash your hands from the hard wash base then, and you can probably see it with your hands. Alright, let's do that. It's because, yeah, we don't judge. 100% <laughs> let's do that. Yeah, it should probably try. Yeah, it's really good. And a goosey. Wow. Gonna eat this bird? No, you show me. Oh wow. So I'm gonna do a little bit of that. Okay. Mmm. So you, you know that bam. You grab it like this. Mm-hmm. And then you make a little pillow thing. How do I describe this texture? It's like a it's like halfway between a mochi and a mashed potato. First time trying fufu too. So you pretty much use the fufu and then you pick it up. Tiny little this and me get all that in there. I mean. Mm. Oh, good. Yeah. That's bad. So we're eating something called agusi, which apparently is like spiced melon seeds. They've got mixed beef parts like tripe and skin and ox feet and things like that. And there's a lot of spices going through our mouths. When you're eating it, it's just incredible, incredible flavor, man. Like really, really good stuff. I actually really like the texture of this food, man. I haven't tried it before, but I guess like when you try to dip it or pick up curry and things like that, it's a really good texture in your mouth. It's not so much like a curry, it's more like textured paste, you know? And that's from the melon seeds that they use. So what they do is they take melon seeds and then they add in a lot of these spices when they're cooking it. And this thing here is an incredible spice. Really, really good. Mm. It's not that crazy like chili as well, right? Nah, the spice is in like the flavor, man. The flavor's coming through. It looks like tendon to me. But I think it is ox foot or ox feet. Let's cut it open and try it. That's the color, is it? It looks like color, doesn't it? Yeah. You'd be better at chopping than me. For sure. Let <laughs> <laughs> try this out. Oh, yeah. Pretty much like um, the color. It's exactly right. Yeah? Mm. Spot on. I really like this food, man. Mm. Well, would you rate it? I don't know. I have nothing to compare to. Oh, it is? It's great, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, out of 10. Out of 10? Maybe 9? 9? Ooh! Yeah. That's high. I mean, I don't, I don't know much African food, so it's my first time trying, but what I can tell you is it's good. Like, you could eat this on the regular as well. 100%. Yeah? Yeah. And I'd come back here and I'd, I'd just eat this. It's something you crave, I reckon. It tastes like something you eat at a Sunday family party or something like that. What would you rate it out of 10? <laughs> Me? Because you've eaten a lot more African food than I have, eh? 10 out of 10, bro. That was, that was, that was slapping, bro. You went to the, um, the Hawaiian yeah. spot as well, yeah? Yeah, have you tried it? No, I haven't. I want to. I see, I see the one poor guys go there. Yeah, I saw. Yeah. I saw on Instagram. Places like that. Places like this as well. Like the reason why I love it so much is that it's just like small family run, people passionate about the food. And like and like it's just putting people onto like yeah, like culture as well, like your food as well and eat so. Hundred percent. Have you ever been on an eating video show before? No. First time? Mm -hmm. Man, when I first started, I'm like, I don't know what the hell to say. Are you good bro? You're like you're like curious about the food and stuff. Yeah. Like, that's what I pick up. 
That's why that's why I love exploring Sydney. It's so much so much to explore. It's so much bro, but like people like 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 people don't know, so like channels like yo, it's literally putting people on bro. It's just plantain. Oh plantain. I love plantain. Yes, Alright, we got more food on the table. This one is a uh, goat stew. Yes, mm, it smells really good. It smells like a tomato based type of stew. This one might be a bit too hot to eat with our hands. And we've got fried plantain. It's like a cooking banana. They use it a lot in South American cuisine, and I see they use it here too. We've got this here, which is what they call jollof rice. That's pretty much just slow cooked, simmered, flavored rice. This is also like Nigerian jollof as well. How's it different from Ghana? I think Ghanaians, yeah. we just make more like, it's more flavor. Don't say more flavor. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think I'm going to like that. Man. It's to their own, but I, got you. I love the Ghanaian one. What's the meat? Okay. Okay. Mm. This is nice. Oh, good spice in the stew, eh? Mm -hmm. A little bit spicy. The jollof is also like just a little bit more smoky than like what the Ghanaian is. It's smoky, yeah. They were telling me what they do is um, they cook it up, they let it simmer, and then at the end they high heat it. So it gets a lot of smokiness through the whole uh, through the pot. I guess like as Asians when we do fried rice, like it's all about the smokiness, you know what I mean? So it's cool to see other cultures doing something similar. I guess the one thing that you can say about like every dish here is there's a lot of flavor. And each dish has a different flavor. Like the rice has its own flavor profile, and then you have the goats too. They don't taste the same, but when you put it together, it just smells. Mm. Try some? <laughs> Not from your f spoon, that's it. We're good, we're good. <laughs> Try some first, bro. You've eaten plantain before, yeah? Are you meant to dip it in the stew? You can dip it in the stew if you want, but yeah, just um, try it straight up and then dip it in the stew for your next. Ah, let's do it. Mm. It's pretty much a sugar banana. There's this shop in Cameramana, and they're like Thai Lao, and they do deep fried sugar banana. Mm. It tastes like that. That's the inside. Give you a little rotation and then. Like <laughs> I haven't tried plantain like this before. I've only tried it like deep fried. <laughs> Did you try it? Try what? Plantain? Oh no, I haven't. Hey, try, try it, man. Hey, you you, you, you to me, man. Yeah. You like the sugar banana, don't you? Ooh. What would you rate it, bro? Probably an eight point five. I'm yes. that video, that's a solid. Yeah, that's a solid 8 for me too. <laughs> solid 8? <laughs> what do you think, Kevin? Huh? We're doing ratings now? Yeah. yeah I'm gonna take his rating. I'm gonna say 8. It just tastes like the banana produce from. Uh... Yeah, that's what I'm saying, man. Oh, what are you, by the way? Yeah, Lebanese. Lebanese? Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Have you had a Lebanese episode yet? Oh, recently. Yesterday. Really? Yeah. Yesterday, really fun, yeah. Which oh, yeah. Uh, in Bankstown, it's called Cedar Wrap. Yeah, because like for me, you know, growing up, because I, I went to school in like Sefton. Uh, there's a fair few Lebanese people in that yeah. school, and that's my first taste of Lebanese food. After school, we used to go like Chester Hill. We used to go like Jasmine One. Oh yeah. 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 And that's like like when you try cedar wrap, it's like a step up from that. You know what I mean? Because they mm -hmm. they do their they do the mates differently. Yeah. Like, Man, there's a lot more care and just make them a charcoal and stuff like that. It's, there's levels to it. There's levels to it. Like but the cool thing is from like now compared to 10 years ago, a lot more people know Lebanese food. I guess you could like attribute that half to Eljana being a bit more popular, but then yeah. it's, it's like the gateway, you know what I mean? Like when people try Eljana, they're like, kids yeah. Lebanese food, they're like, oh, look at this garlic sauce, man. And then they want to try more. Yeah, yeah the garlic sauce is on crap. You need to try like proper Lebanese food. Yeah, I love it. See that? See that was quite close to that, I believe. What did you have? You know? There was this cool thing. Like they call it a toasty. I don't know what it's called in Arabic, but it's like um, like bread with kifta on the inside. Like they flatten it and then they cook it over charcoal. Yeah, I'm not. Yeah. I'm not sure what it is, but it was Same nice. Much. Yeah, I guess. So. <laughs> <Same> <laughs> good, right? Oh, I'm getting full too. Yeah, yeah. Just speaking this fullness into you. And what? this is a chin chin. The what? Chin chin. Chin chin. Oh, chin chin. Yeah. The other one was a puff puff. Puff puff. Oh, 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 oh. Jesus. Puff, puff, pass. Yeah, they call it puff runs. I actually like puff runs better. I think puff runs is stupid. Wow. <laughs> just a quick little dessert. This is called chin chin, um, which is pretty much like a biscuit that you just nibble on. And you can get it here with ice cream, isn't it? Mm -hmm. With a sundae. Oh, with a sundae, but I think going to try it out. It's dangerous. Huh? It yeah, is. it is. It is. You keep it is dangerous because you just keep snacking on it. And I'm sure there's a bit of sugar in it. I wake up at like 4:30 this morning. No way. Yeah, I was playing basketball. Oh, yeah. where? Five Dock. All the way to Five Dock. Yeah, so I drive from Cabra to Five Dock. Why? 
There's a group of boys, they're, they're really good people there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Play with them every week, man. Okay. Yeah. Everyone just wakes up, they're, they're all like dad age, man. But then really? they come, they love basketball, you know, yeah. they come grind it out 5 30 in the morning, like every three times oh. a week. Yeah. These guys are like 11 o'clock at night, but go to the courts. Yeah. Yeah? yeah. yeah. You play? Yeah, bro. Where? Um, Blacktown. Okay. Um, this sports place is called Unk Basketball. Unk Basketball? Yeah. You should come like one yeah. time. We go Mondays. I can't dunk though, yeah? I can't dunk either. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can. On a good day. <laughs> yeah, he's like, yeah, he's he's humble, humble, yeah, humble, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I wish I could dunk. I used to be able to touch the backboard. <laughs> yeah. you, and that, that made my, that made my year, that. man. I was, yeah. like, I was like, yeah, I touched the backboard, boys. You know, yeah, you yeah, yeah. yeah but, nah, after that. Ooh. My back started hurting. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy, but just do your stretches, bro. Right. Like, get your stretches. Yeah, you did. Some yoga, eat some good food. Yes, sir. And then, got some palm wine from Nigeria. Oh, yeah, yes. Never tried it before, this guy. Never That's tried it before, pour the whole glass. <laughs> Preserve. It's not strong. It's not that strong, man. It tastes, it tastes a little bit I'm sour. Not, I'm not a big fan of the smell. It's sour. It's, it's sweet. sweet. Yeah. Oh, it's sweet. It's sweet here. It, it tastes healthy. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe because we ate all of that. Cheers, 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 cheers. Let me put on your sunglasses. Alright, yeah. Alright, you're like Stevie Wonder, right? <laughs> 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 Alright, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. Nigerian food is really really good man like come out here and try this stuff man it's beautiful stuff if you enjoyed the video hit the like button um, hit the subscribe button if you haven't and thank you so much for coming on today's video thanks for having me brother no stress Sachi you like it thank you guys man and we even have a special guest in today's video <laughs> <laughs> you gotta do it again you gotta yeah, do it again, again. Hi guys, Sydney Food Boy here and we are in the beautiful suburb of Harris Park near Parramatta in Sydney and I'm gonna go check out an amazing Indian restaurant called Chakas which is pretty much one of my favourite Indian restaurants. Thank you, thank you, take care, take care, have a good day. Kevin. Oh, we have the same name! <laughs>